York Yankees are now on the brink of elimination. They fall to three games to one to the Houston Astros. They lose yesterday eight to three, and George Springer got the Astros on the board in the top of the second. He hits a three-run bomb off of Tanaka. Up there, first and second, nobody out. That ball's driven to left field. Back on a Garter. He's on the warning track. There it goes, George Springer. A three-run shot gives the Astros the lead. It's three to one. And then top of the sixth inning, Carlos Correa. He hits another three-run bomb, making it 6-1 Astros. It's Carlos Correa. And that's hit pretty well and pretty deep to left. Gardner is going back, looking up. See you later! A three-run home run for Carlos Correa. And the Astros go up 6-1. to one. And we've got some quiet Yankee fans now at Yankee Stadium. They end up winning 8-3, to three, but the Yankees can blame that first inning. They had a real opportunity to jump on Granke early, and Zach Granke's had his struggles pitching at Yankee Stadium. He was a career 0-3 at Yankee Stadium, had an ERA over 9, and they couldn't do it. Gary Sanchez struck out with the bases loaded. Aaron Judge had a key strikeout, and this Yankee offense has been putrid since game one. This Yankees team, they hadn't lost back-to-back -back games at home since April 2nd and 3rd. So all the way back in April, that's the last time they had lost two games at home, and then they were just downright sloppy. Four errors on the night for the Bronx Bombers, and Aaron Boone mentioned after the game that this Yankee team did not look sharp. We played poorly tonight. There's no, no other way to explain it, and we need to flush this immediately, you know, because... You know, and, you know, we talked about as a team, we need to get over this in a hurry and come put our best foot forward tomorrow. And, you know, now, you know, stranger things have certainly happened, a lot stranger. And uh, we need to we need to play a, a cleaner game, obviously, if we're going to beat a team like that. But we did not get it done tonight. Now, I originally picked the Yankees to win in seven games because I thought this offense was going to find a way to get to Verlander gets a Cole. They hit 306 home runs in the regular season. This is one of the most potent offenses in baseball history, and they look pedestrian against this Astros team. And if you look at that, no hit with runners in scoring position since game one. Let me repeat that. Since game one, the Yankees have not had a hit with runners in scoring position and they've had plenty of opportunities to score runs. The Astros are too good of a team to not capitalize on those opportunities. This year, the Yankees appear to have turned the corner in that respect. Guys like DJ LeMahieu, Gio Urshel, they were hitting over 400 with runners in scoring position, but when the rubber meets the road in the playoffs, they did not step up, and the Yankees, their season's over. It's Finish tough him. to see. I wanted an epic clash here in this ALCS, and it doesn't look like we're going to get that. If you look at it, too many first pitch swings, too many lazy five balls. This offense is not getting after it, and you're seeing this ripple effect in the offense. When one guy doesn't get it done, it trickles down. You see guys pressing, and they just can't get it going. And it really was just a sad day for the Yankees. You had CeCe Sabathia in tears, headed to the dugout. His final pitch is a Yankee. He hurts his shoulder. And then Yankee fans disappear in the eighth inning. That place was empty. Astros chance breaking out. And really just a sad ending to what looked like a very promising, a very promising season. Now just remember this. The Royals, the Kansas City Royals, have more pennants than the Yankees this decade. It doesn't seem like the Yankees are going to make it to the World Series in this decade, and you can thank that to their offense. But look, it's just really, if you're a Yankee fan, this has to hurt. You got the split you needed, and then you laid two straight eggs at home, and now you're going to be staying home after tonight. I think the Astros, they get it done today, and they make quick work of the New York Yankees and what was supposed to be this all-time great classic series appears to be a short series dominated by the Houston Astros. And even if they do get the win, even if they do beat Verlander, game six, you've got a bullpen game, and then game seven, say goodnight, because it's going to be Garrett Cole. You do not want anything to do with Garrett Cole. But even if they do steal a win today, this series is over. But hey, it just goes to show. They scored tons of runs in the regular season, hit tons of home runs, but this league is and always will be about starting pitching. You need that front of the line starting firepower that the Astros have, that the Nationals have, and they're going to be meeting up in the World Series.